Dave here at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Today we're going to be looking at the 2021.5 Rockwood 2104S Mini Light. This Mini Light is going to have the latest graphics, latest interior, latest standard features. So if you order a 2104S after, well this video is going to be made in November. Anything made after November of 2020, and if you're watching this into the future, I would say it's a safe bet that anything built before July of 2021 will look the same. As long as it has the same um, colors and uh, interior that this has. So this Rockwood, the exterior right off the bat is the standard exterior. This is the, the champagne it's called, but you can also, I call it the, the tan exterior. I mean, it's tan. <laughs> it's not technically, but that's what I call it. Um, you got the new front, so that's the first thing you're going to notice if you've been following Rockwood Minis for a few years. This is a new uh, front design. This is a darker front cap with some new graphics. When we go inside, you're going to see the slate wood, which is standard, and the stone interior. I'll mention that again when we when we head inside. So. Let's uh, do the usual. I'm going to take a walk around the unit and just point some things out to you. I already got the cabinets open just so you can see how much space you have. I say this every time, but two 30 pound bottles on the mini lights, front power jack, battery box that fits too. Now, the Rockwood minis, there's a, there's a couple, um, couple more. Uh, connectors here because they are and that's actually labeled solar solar negative solar positive because they're coming standard with the um, the prep for solar on the roof so the minis are going to come with this option you have the option for either just the thousand watt solar panel with the inverter or you can get the 12 volt fridge with the solar panel in inverter. Now, pass through storage. Something that's interesting to know about that is that if you were just to get the solar panel and inverter option, it's around a thousand dollars for that option. But if you were to get the 12 volt fridge, which comes with, it's actually required that you get the inverter and solar panel when you get the 12 volt fridge, I would say golf clubs or fishing poles for this one, this this cabinet, and the Kia like the Kia like system. See, it's a, a master key. So the entry door key is going to be the the same key that opens the compartments. Anyway, what I was saying was, if you get the twelve volt fridge option, you're actually going to only spend about half of that. It's closer to five hundred dollars because. Mm -hmm. The 12 volt refrigerator is less money than the standard gas electric refrigerator. So Rockwood actually credits a lot of that money back. So you can actually get more when you get the 12 volt fridge for about half the price. So some people don't want the 12 volt. I mean, there's, there's two schools of thought. I mean, some people prefer gas electric. I think 12 volt in the coming year, maybe in the next couple of years is probably going to it's probably going to take over just because it gets colder faster and it's not a huge draw on the on the battery either especially with the solar so you got your water hookups here tank flush antifreeze inlet on the right bottom and then the city water so they put them all together along with cable satellite hookups and your 30 amp power cord inlet your sewer connections you can see the gray on the left black on the right very cleverly the black is black and the gray is gray it wasn't always that way folks but they have gotten smarter over the years clothes underbelly on the mini lights back in the day that wasn't the case but now that is standard and closed underbelly has been for a number of years now gas electric water heater you have your shower hot and cold ladder standard it's a walkable roof the Furion backup camera mounts. So um, 
loving this. This is uh, this was the same last year, but they're keeping the th the the receiver for bike carrier or some sort of um, storage rack, and it's rated for three hundred pounds. Point this out every time, but it's worth it. This is the the Goodyear tires standard Goodyear endurance tires. Awning goes most of the body of the trailer. Nice, it's a big awning for a 21 foot trailer. I like this. Rockwood just started coming out with uh, that little graphic that talks about the standard features and some of the options, the name brand stuff that they have. I think it's just just a nice thing to to look at and get the the quick the uh, the elevator speech, so to speak, like the quick, why should I buy a Rockwood? And you can see the quality construction and that and that's a huge thing. The quality construction, that's really the, the biggest thing with Rockwood, all aluminum construction. And they've addressed their two major downfalls, in my opinion, from the from from previous Rockwood years. They addressed the, the floor. A couple of years ago, they went up to a, a five eighths inch plywood decking for the floor instead of a laminate floor which is going to stand up way better over time and this year I should say the the second half of this year they have upgraded to those Goodyear tires so those are the two the two I'd say you know biggest potential setbacks to, to a Rockwood but everything else is just fantastic the construction is awesome solid camper all right of course the more ride steps very easy to set up and they're even easier now in some of the other videos I've shown you you can just uh, instead of having a, a the pin that pulls out you just kind of press uh, the a trigger in the back each side and the legs go up and down so again this is the stone interior you can see a little bit lighter the chocolate is a is like a brown this is also the standard slate wood Newport ash is replacing American maple this year. Newport Ash is a much lighter interior than what you're seeing here. This is the this is the slate. Solid countertops in the kitchen in a rockwood. Don't take that for granted. Especially when you're dropping water all over the counter and stuff. It's not gonna it's not gonna start to separate on you. It's just a solid counter. I love this little hidden plugs and USB ports. The TV swivels out, so if you're sitting at the sofa when the bed's up, it'll swivel, swivel out. Or if you're sitting at the um, the U-shaped dinette, you can see it from there as well. I like the option, use it for clothes or use it for a pantry space with the shelves that come out. more over here you know you try to make the most of the space adding as much storage as possible and then having the multi-function with the removable shelves is great eight cubic foot gas electric fridge this is the standard fridge but you can get a 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt fridge shot of the kitchen gas oven standard two-sided stainless steel sink let's check out the bathroom before we look at the murphy bed corner shower set up and we have the porcelain toilet in the corner a little bit more storage too in the bathroom see the, the shelf space one two three levels sink with the shelf and just a little bit of space down here that's an access panel get the light on 
Hello. Medicine cabinet. All right, let's check out the shower. It's a little thing, but you have the, the pouch for your shampoo and soap. Shower miser, which you use that to conserve water if you're in a situation where you're dry camping, especially, or if you're just trying to be environmentally conscious, you don't want to waste water unnecessarily. And of course, the Max Air fan with the cover. So even though this is only a 20, 21 foot um, body, it's still gonna have AC ducted throughout just to spread it evenly. But you can also close them up and it can come straight out of the AC itself. If you wanna stand under it and get blown away. <laughs> Murphy bed set up. So one thing they've changed with the new, the new sofa, you have cup holders now. They did remove the side tables, but those weren't the best in my opinion. They were a little flimsy. They were small, I couldn't put much on them. So I don't think that's a big loss, um, losing those side tables. I'd rather have the cup holders. There is storage under the, the sofa. I just wanna show you that. It's actually the same storage that you get, oop, that you get that passes through. see the outside all right so now let's check out the Murphy bed setup all right so I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to set up the Murphy bed the first thing I do is I unlock these top locks it's easier to get to with the sofa set up okay they just pull the strap sofa comes down grab here Grab right here, not here, <laughs> of course. You can grab there, and then you can feel right when it locks into place. There is that lock, and then when you're going back up, just pull the lock, press it up. There are pistons to assist you, and then voila. So something I wanted to start doing on these videos is showing you what the unit looks like when the slide room is in. So the 2104 has a very deep slide room. So it's big, it takes up a lot of space. So when that slide room comes in, you can see it's it's coming in quite a bit. Um, so you can, you can get to the sofa if you wanted to sit down, that's easy enough. But you're blocking the fridge. So this totally blocks the refrigerator. You can't get it without putting the slide out. Getting through to the bathroom, you could sneak in once you, if you could open that door once you got there, but the tricky part is getting past here. So you'd have to kind of crawl. The, the table would be in the down position when you're towing. So you gotta figure that table's down. You're gonna have to crawl over that. Now you can get there. You can, you can hop in and crawl over. And for some people that's not a big deal, but for for some people, uh, older people, especially, I mean, that, that have trouble um, moving around like that, stepping up and uh, <laughs> rolling over, so to speak, into that area, uh, it's going to be an issue. So I just wanted you to be aware of that, that if that is a major concern of yours, it is doable, but it's going to take some, um, it's going to take some effort to get past this area towards the bathroom. Well, thanks for watching. You can find this 2104S at Russo's RV Center in Lakeville, Massachusetts. Have a great day.